Hey guys, you know what time it is. It's time for Pretty Little Thing Haul, part two. Or is it part trace already? Well, needless to say, I have a large, large, large haul of goodies from Pretty Little Thing. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. Hey guys, it's Emily. I am about to unbox my Pretty Little Thing latest haul and I can't wait to show you guys. So let's get started. So the first thing it appears to be, is this the bra or the or knickers? Knickers I think are underwear. Um, so I've been really into this type of underwear, um, especially with like this white kind of like logo thing, like Aloe has some really nice ones as well. And so I bought these in a, um, a size six, is this a size six? Uh, yeah, um, a USA size two. Um, so <clears throat> as you can see, it's very high waisted. I will not be trying these on for the camera. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, but look how cute they are. I love it. I can't wait to tell you guys about them. I will leave in my comments below if I think this is a must buy and it wouldn't be complete without the matching set. So I got this uh, sports bra, a racer back bra, and I got it in a size 10 because I have, um, you know, bigger, a bigger chest. Although this looks like it might be a little too big, but guys, this looks so cute. This and this together, oh my gosh. Oh my God, how adorbs. So I think the price on this was super, super inexpensive. So overall, I'd say, yes, this is totally worth it. All right, guys, next thing is the shape black jersey strappy maxi dress in a size six. So let's see, it's a maxi dress. Okay. All right, this is giving me some like skims vibes, except very lower, like low quality guys. Like this is definitely giving me some sheen vibes. Yeah, this, I'll have to see how much I paid for this because if it was any more than $10, it's going back because I could definitely buy this for like $6 from Sheen. Um, there's no slit in it. And it's definitely, you would definitely need some sort of, uh, some sort of like undergarment. Cause you can see like, Ooh, it's like super sheer. So yeah, this one is, eh. I mean, I'm probably not going to return it cause it just is too much trouble, but that's what they want. That's what they want. Um, alrighty. We have something gray here. This is the gray marl bandu dress in size eight. But this is a uh, UK sizing. So I think that's probably like a US four maybe. Let's see. Oh, this is cute. This looks super comfy. Um, again, the material is very kind of not super high quality, um, but at least this is a little less see-through than the, the last dress we opened. And there's a slit in the back. So this looks like a cozy, like comfy beach dress. Um, it's just something to wear like after a long day in the sun or on a relaxing summer, summer day. So... I'll have to see how much that one was because again, is it worth anything over like $15? Hell no. Okay. This already seems like higher quality than the last few things. This is a size eight pink sport sculpt under bust seam detail jacket. Okay. Well, that looks cute. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's um, 
a cotton material. It's not like the athleisure wear material. It's like a more stretchy cotton. Um, but yeah, I mean, I like it. It's giving me like cheaper aloe vibes. Um, so yeah, it needs to be ironed. But overall, I'd say this is a win and it's got this cute little PLT sport uh, little like a uh, raised uh, detail in the back. So I'll have to try this on actually. I'll try it on right now. There's no little thumb holes. Sometimes the uh, athleisure wear has that. This one doesn't. It's very comfortable and very light, very light. Let's see here. I think this, this might be a little for like the smaller chested ladies. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It's all right. I wouldn't give it like a 10. It's kind of mediocre. And again, like the stitching that I've noticed with PLT or Pretty Little Thing, it's not as high quality as uh, like a White Fox brand. Um, so I'd be careful and I, I'd be willing to bet that there, there's gonna be a hole in this like after like two or three washes, just based on my experience. Um, all right, next thing, Ash Gray Flannel Split Hem Joggers. And this is a size small. Oh, these are nice. These are really nice. So it's uh, pretty snatched in the waist. Well, it's no, actually it's size extra small. Um, so it's supposed to be a little bit more form fitting. And then the bottom is flare and it's got like the little slit here. So super cool. I love this. And it's got that soft, that buttery soft um, fleece interior. So the one thing I do want to mention about the PLT um, sweatpants is that they kind of like lose their shape in the washer and dryer. So, and they actually, the fabric kind of wears out real quick. So I was wearing my white jogger, the one I did a video on not too long ago, and obviously I washed it. And when I wore it for the second time, it actually like the fleece thing was coming off. It was breaking apart. So the quality, you know, for shame, pretty little thing. Uh, the quality is no bueno. It's not good. So you need to fix that if you're watching. Um, but anyways, that's something to keep in mind because the quality is, is just not there. It's not there. Um, so I know I've done a video with what, which brand is better, PLT or White Fox and hands down, White Fox is better. White Fox all the way, White Fox. All right, next thing. All right, well, this is really cute. This is the uh, Baby Pink Pretty Little Thing Oversized Basic Sweatshirt in size medium. Let's see, and this is uh, made in Pakistan, interesting. I was thinking it would say China, but it says Pakistan of all places. Uh, I think all of these things are made in Pakistan. This is too. Huh. You know, guys, I had this um, this one uncle. Well, I still have him. But uh, he only would wear clothing that was made in the USA. And you won't catch him wearing anything else. How about that for like, you know, showing support for your country? Um, anyways. Let's open this one up. Oh, I love this. It's so lightweight, but again, the fabric itself, the quality of the fabric is just not, it's not there. I just am not feeling it. I think this might be my last PLT haul. I don't know. I don't know guys. I mean, I like it. It's cute, but I just don't know. I don't know. So this is the bone seamless high waisted flare yoga pants. Now I could have sworn that I have bought this and wore them already in another video. Oh my gosh. I will be so mad at myself if I got another dupe 
You know how many dupes I have? Yeah, I, it's a dupe. This is a dupe. But I love these pants. They make you look so snatched. I did a video like dedicated to these. Oh my God, I love them. It looks like they're like really, really, um, you can't tell from the way that the camera's angled, but it seems like this is more fit for shorter girls. But in, re in reality, like I'm 5'7", and I was worried about that, but it stretches out. So like, you can kind of like shape it to the length you want. Like it's kind of like flexible like that, but I love these. They are see-through in the butt area. So beware of that. You might need to wear like a thong of some sort, a nude thong, uh, if you're gonna wear anything under it. Cause you guys can see every little detail of what you're wearing underneath. Um, at least when I did, you could. So beware. But look how cute that would look. This with like the pink, like this and this, like super cute. I love the way the light pink and this this bone color look together, even with the white. I think it's just got that whole like coquette vibe, which I want to do a video on that as well. That whole vibe, I'm so obsessed with it. Right, what do we have got here? We got shape black sculpted bandu jumpsuit in size extra small, a bandu jumpsuit. So I tend to like these kinds of things to wear in the um, summer, especially when I'm like going spray tanning. So nothing stains and you don't have any like, um, you don't have to worry about straps and wearing bras and everything. All right, so this is a jumpsuit. Oh, I like this. This one I like. Yeah, I like that. And it's got the flared bottoms here. Guys, this is this is awesome. I can't wait to try this on. This, the fabric is a little bit thicker. It's still not like super quality, but it's a lot thicker than what we were just looking at. All right, I've got some big, cozy uh is this a sweater okay oh so this is like copycat of a uh, white box they have this bubble letter so i wanted to see uh i wanted to see for myself you know the ripoff version of white box so i don't know if like it's like one master australian brand that creates all these different clothes or, and they just have the different you know, sub brands under it, or if they're actually competing directly with each other, because I mean, look at that. They're like copying White Fox. It's insane in the back, you know, like the, the, the lettering is a little different, um, the bubbles, but like they're totally copying White Fox here. Um, yeah, the, the quality doesn't even compare to White Fox, but this one is definitely on the better quality side in comparison to the other clothes that I've shown you guys today. Um, it's very, it's like a heavier, it's a heavier, um, heavier material. All right, what is this? Okay, this is interesting. Ash gray seam detail sleeveless sweat jumpsuit. It's a sweat jumpsuit with like this corset kind of moment here at the top interesting guys this could be either really really good or really really epically bad um i'm actually really intrigued i don't have anything like this so uh so yeah i mean this should be interesting to try on the inside is like definitely it's got like a bit more high quality fabric um but still nowhere nowhere on the same level as white fox they're uh, flared, slightly flared. The one thing I don't like about it is I hate those like that little like line down the middle. Um, to me, it's just like I get like band pants vibes from it and it just icks me out like gross. Um, sorry to talk in my Valley Girl tone. Dark brown basic slinky scoop neck bodysuit. All right, I'm 
okay. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's all right. I don't hate it. I like how the back is a little sheer and then the front it's got, it's thicker. So you probably won't have to wear a bra with it if you don't have to. And I like how it goes up like high waisted. It cuts, cuts up high. Um, so it won't show um, any sort of panty lines or anything. So that's all right. I mean, it's, it's not the best. It's not like you're getting aloe or skims. Uh, mediocre. I give it a, I give it a five out of 10, five out of 10. All right. I think this is the very last thing. Very last thing. Huh. Other than this, uh, hello fresh gift card they put in here, which I have a whole stack of these from everything that I buy. I should try it. Try ordering that one day. Um, anyways, uh, I've got the Pretty Little Thing Shape Embellishment Straight Leg Jogger. Okay, this is super heavy compared to everything else I've tried. Um, okay, this has, oh no, this has Pretty Little Thing on the butt, but the way it looks, it kind of looks like grungy, like, I don't know, like, trashy like ed hardy like i don't know i don't like it <laughs> i don't like it i'll probably wear them because they're definitely going to be comfortable um but it actually it doesn't have that like fluffy feeling fabric on the inside it's kind of more like i don't want to say abrasive but it's it's just more coarse uh than like that soft buttery uh fleece material um so this is a size two and yeah, I mean, it's, it runs big. I think these also come with a matching hoodie, but I just couldn't. I was like, no, I can't. I just can't go, go back there. I can't go back to the juicy days. If I was going to go back to the ju juicy couture tracksuit days, I would just go and rebuy another juicy tracksuit. Um, I'm not going to wear a knockoff <laughs> of it, right? Anyways, that's my haul for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Mwah. Bye.